All right, guys, welcome back to the snake rack report. As you can see, this is going to be our second egg cutting of this week. Uh, unfortunately, there's only two eggs in this clutch. This was a uh, kind of a, a weird clutch. This was my uh, pastel leopard, or, or well, I guess pastel leopard fire OD YB NG Ultramel Het Pied male that I got from Ozzy bred to an Ultramel female. Uh, I think the problem with him was that he was tapped out from uh, 2023 in terms of locking up with females and breeding. So when this female laid this clutch, we had like two eggs and like, I think five or so slugs. So I'm assuming what happened here is that dad just kind of got tapped out and we didn't uh, get a lot of locks. I didn't witness a bunch of locks and obviously there wasn't a lot of fertilization. <clears throat> so uh, I'm hoping these two are good because they are gonna both be visual ultramels. Uh, she was a plain Ultramel, but, you know, he had uh, up to six genes, maybe more in him. And that's, you know, and hopefully these are fertilized and healthy babies too. I don't, they, they feel like they've fully grown in there. So uh, let's just hope for the best here. But I mean, he's been making crazy looking snakes for me, uh, especially the Ultramels that I've hatched out. So I can only hope that, you know, we continue that here with these, uh, you know, kind of just silently hoping them for both be females because I can always use a couple extra ultra mills and hopefully they prove out het pied. So we got one here. This one doesn't look too crazy. Um, I, that looks like it might be an OD, which is, I mean, I can't, it's hard to believe that there's only one gene in that snake but it's possible that's all that it is i can't really see the head so it's hard to tell without seeing the head stamp whether or not there's pastel in there um but that looks like pretty much the most tame ultra mel that i have ever hatched out of that male so we'll see what kind of comes of that um kind of crazy that that's how basic that <laughs> that turned out to be that's weird I would say that's probably an OD. Maybe it's a pastel, pastel OD. Uh, you know, still a nice snake. I mean, if it ends up being a female, I'm probably keeping it anyways because, um, you know, uh, most of my snakes in this project are all pied head ultra male. Um, you know, I have some holdbacks from last year. I think two or three holdback females that are visual ultra males and one from this year, but I haven't hit very good odds on producing the visual ultra males in the female female form um so whatever i can get is good and then that way i can you know breed it into other projects i always like breeding visuals when i'm trying to make new stuff makes it a little easier to guess the genetics this one doesn't look too crazy either it didn't hit real good this one looks a little brighter Definitely more blushing in this one, but uh, not what I was looking for out of this clutch because technically I should have been able to duplicate what dad was with this because, um, you know, dad obviously has the ability to pass on all his genes and the mom was a, a visual ultra male. Um, this just kind of shows you sometimes you get, you get hosed with the odds and that's okay. I guess this wasn't one of those clutches where I was expecting a ton because there's only two eggs. It looks like we got two healthy snakes, so that's obviously um you know <laughs> kind of what we're doing here but you know at least it looks like we have two healthy ultra males i don't think either one of them is any crazy uh genetic combos i think we hit those in my last ultra male clutch that we hatched last month that had those 100 gram eggs um so there's absolutely nothing nothing too crazy going on there but let me Here's what we'll do. Let's zoom out and I'll, I'll pull in dad here to show you dad real quick. So this was dad. He, uh, he's more yellow than he was when he was a baby. Um, but you know, technically I could have reproduced this with this clutch. Um, obviously I didn't, but that's what he turned out like. And those crazy bamboo combo ultra mills, 
you know, or as, or as crazy as the Gen X can get when you're producing some of these guys. But, um, you know, it's kind of a downer. But I hit some good odds with that clutch that I uh, cut earlier in the week uh, with the clown at Pied Posset MJs. So, you know, hopefully uh, there's some nice ringers on these snakes um, when I end up seeing them out of the eggs. If not, uh, you know, if they're males, I, I, I don't know if I would test them for shed testing before sale. If they're females, um, I don't know if I'd shed, t shed test them either because I'd probably most likely keep them anyways. And if I'm keeping them, I mean, they're probably going to be bred in the Ultra Pied Project no matter what. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what gender they turn out to be. Um, they're more valuable to me, females, as keep as, you know, growing them out and, and getting a couple extra genes. If I'm able to, let's say, double up, if these end up being OD or past LOD, and I'm able to make some super OD ultra male combos in two years with them, that's probably more valuable to me than trying to go find one or buy one. But we'll see. Um, I can show you an update on the one that I, the one male that I still have for sale. Let's see here. So he's still for sale right now. So I'm actually, I decided to uh, pair this male up uh, for sale with the mom of these other babies. So let me pull this light around here a little differently so it's a little easier to see. These lights are around here all the time to get better. Actually, it might be easier if I move the camera over this way. All right, that's better. You can see his colors better. So this male, um, he's still available. I actually discounted it a lot, and I include the breeder female with him. So the way I was kind of thinking of adding this combo was this male has, I, I think at the very least, four genes in him. I think he's probably bamboo maybe firefly uh, you know potentially od and yb as well and maybe even leopard as you can see those colors are starting to come in a lot better here he's already had his second shed he's close to 200 grams as you can see there that is a really nice ringer right here on his tail which i would assume is going to make him prove out to be uh het pied i can't guarantee that obviously but i think it will um so he's being paired up with the mom of of that clutch there as a pair i think i have him listed for like 2500 bucks during the sale which is crazy because i think he's probably more value, valuable than that by himself um this is a snake that i have never seen before um could be a world's first i don't know um and it's hard to id the genetics in him but you know he's a he's a special snake and i part of me doesn't even want to let him go for that price point um, you know, because adult ultra male females by themselves are selling for, you know, close to a thousand dollars, if not more. I've seen some that are sold for 1500. So, I mean, they're expensive by themselves and that, that would basically value him at a thousand bucks. And I think he's worth a lot more than that. So, <clears throat> um, I don't know. I'm coming on, kind of on the fence about selling this guy because of how cool he looks, but I mean, he's, he's aging very well. I can't, I can't wait to see him after like three, four sheds. To see how much more of these colors come in because that highlighter yellow color on his head is even getting getting brighter and brighter so uh, right now he's still available with that female um you know if you're interested really cool snake really cool combo tons of potential at the very worst you have the ability to make multi-gene uh ultra male combos and if he proves out that pied then you know it's even more valuable to you so that's what we're what we're dealing with here. Um, that clutch. Luckily, those two those two babies are healthy. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to see them out of the eggs a little bit, so we can see what else is going on in there. I, I don't think there's probably more than one or two or three genes in either one of them, though, which kind of stinks. But you know, once we get out, we can maybe ID them a little better. So, uh, you know, take a look at the animals I still have available. I'm being very aggressive with pricing on my morph market right now. Um, I am trying to clear out this inventory before all these other babies start coming. I had nine eggs hatched this week. I have my lightning pied, my first lightning pied clutch of 10 eggs is due in two weeks to hatch. My other one of five eggs is due at the end of the month. Plus I have a couple, like they're starting to like come now all the time. Like, so 
you know, I'm trying to clear out the inventory before I get backlogged and have way too much stuff in the rack. So take a look, very aggressive pricing. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow.